The leaves are changing, cool breeze is blowing. You know what that means. It's time for some fall camping. Let's get into it. What's up guys? Welcome back to the woods here in central Minnesota for an autumn camp out. One of my favorite things about camping in the fall is that things just tend to be a little bit easier. The temperatures are cooler so you're not sweating the whole time. The bugs are thinning out and you get to inject some new gear into your setup. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to be adding our wood stove to the bell tent to add a little touch of ambiance and honestly prepare for winter. But to get things started, let's head back to our gear garage and get everything packed up and ready to go. First things first, we need a duffel bag. I really love this guy for short trips because it's got a lot of space, but not too much. Now, the first thing that we're gonna pack into our duffel is our cooler. And what is so great about doing an overnighter as well is you don't need a lot of food. So I've got all my water and food for the night in this tiny cooler. Now the next piece of gear that we are gonna bring out is something that I've been so excited to use again. We're bringing out the wood stove. Look how tiny this thing is. It's actually for backpacking, but it works great for our regatta bell tent. What do you say? Let's get out there. Whoa, we got a deer right there. Check that out. There are so many deer down here all the time. I'm gonna park right up here. We'll see if he sticks around. Hey, dude. He does not seem too phased by me. It's pretty incredible, huh? It never gets old seeing wildlife like that. We've got a short little hike to get to our camp. Uh, what I love about hiking in these woods is you've just got all of these beautiful flowers. I mean, look at them. But then you also have the pesky plants. If you look at these, these are burrs and they absolutely stick to your clothes. In fact, uh, I absolutely despise these things. I did not bring my dog Ellie because she gets covered in these, as you can see from this photo. The closer we get to our tent, the more we're gonna see these ferns. That's one of the reasons why I chose the spot that I did to set up our campsite was because you have these beautiful ferns here. If you look over here, our fire pit area is absolutely taken over by all of these weeds. So I'm gonna bust out the rake and uh, let's start clearing some vegetation. Cheers guys, welcome to my regatta bell tent. Let me show you around. So the first thing you'll see when we walk into the tent is we've got our nice little doormat. This is where you can, you know, get some of the crud off of your shoes and make sure you don't track anything into the living space. Next, we've got the living room. I love this living room because it is so comfy. We've got our portable couch. This thing is so awesome. You can fully lie down. Check this out. I am lying down or you can sit up. You can fit three people easy on this thing and it packs down in an instant. For side tables, I have these little paneled tables. What's really nice about them is they also pack down really easy. As you can see, they just fold in on each other. So it's really easy to pack up or set up. Sitting on top of our side tables, we've got these amazing LED lamps. We're using a uh, solar generator to power all the lights in here. You could run these things for days and they will not kill the battery on that thing. They are touch screen and uh, if you hold it, it goes to color mode. Next down here, we just have our bedroom area. I went with a simple camp cot 
And as you can see, <sighs> just lie down, stretch out. What else do you need down here? And last but not least, you guys can see we've got our cafe string lights hanging from the side of our bell tent. What I love about these is they come with a remote control so you can turn them on or off and you can even crank them down or you can crank them back up if you need some extra light. All right, that is the tour. Now, before we head outside to make a fire and cook some food, I wanna set up this wood stove. As you can see, we got the wood stove ready, but now it is time to cut a hole in this stove jack up here so we can funnel our pipe out of it. If you come out and take a look, we can open up this flap and attach it with these fasteners. I'm gonna just poke a hole, see that? Now that we're in here, we can really start to make this hole a little bit bigger. All right, it is through. Now I wanna note that this is a fireproof barrier here. So uh, we don't have to worry about it catching on fire because these fires get really, really hot. But thankfully that's what this is made for. It is made to withstand that heat. So we do not need to worry about it. Whew. All right guys, wood stove is all set up and now it is time to get outside and cook our dinner. But before we do, something caught my eye in here that I've got to show you. Look at that spider. I believe that's a wolf spider. We have plenty of them here in Minnesota. To give you a sense of how big that is, that's my fist. So it's not as big as my fist, but it's close. Now, luckily that guy is outside the tent. <laughs> He's uh, in this little vent on the outside. So yeah, I'm not freaking out, but you know, it's not a nice thing to see. At least he's outside the tent. Okay, so the first thing that we gotta do is get a fire going. Uh, once we do, we're gonna actually cook some brats the old fashioned way using a skewer. Check out this skewer though, because we're in deer horn forest. Gotta have a deer horn hot dog skewer. <laughs> some good stuff. So our fire is raging now. We don't have to get super hot coals because we're just cooking with skewers. So let's dive into the food. That's dinner. What do you guys think? It's nothing fancy, but this is gonna taste pretty dang good out here. Now that dinner's done with, just gathering a little bit of firewood for our wood stove. Just getting little stuff because all we're really going for is a little fire for ambiance so we don't really need it to burn very long we just want to get a nice little flame going so that we can uh, kick back and enjoy it all right so this is super exciting the uh, first burn of the season in the stove i'm really excited to see how this chimney works it's looking great there we go. All 
right guys, so now that we got the fire going, it is time to really chill out and enjoy the ambiance. I'm gonna set our lights to color mode. And we're gonna take our cafe lights, turn them down. hear that there's something outside of the tent and it is super close holy cow is that an owl making that sound whoa okay see you. I see you don't like me. You're kind of freaking me out. But you're very cool. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. Seriously, you never know what you're going to see down here. This is why I love this place. Uh -oh. Whoa! <laughs> wow, you guys, I have never in my life seen an owl that close. But to see him screech like that tells me that he was taken off guard either by the tent, me, I don't know. But that was really, really crazy. Well guys, I think with that, it is time to end the video. What an amazing night spent down in the woods. It's so awesome to get to see the beautiful flowers out here, to feel the seasons change, and always to spend time in our bell tent, especially with the addition of the wood stove. I'm so grateful to be able to enjoy the outdoors like this and you can do it too. It doesn't take much money or effort to put together a glamping setup like this. It's extremely portable and you can take it anywhere. So that's gonna do it for this episode of Wandering with White Duck. I'm your host, Jack Stewart. We'll see you next time.